welcome back once again over here and uh, as usual I feel really happy to make a video for you guys and talk with you guys and I'm sure you all were really excited for this topic uh, uh, salary of a cabin crew because obviously everyone works for benefits but they want to know about the money factor as well right second thing uh, all my videos going forward are going to be in English unless if it's required in Hindi if it's for any specific topic why because the more you watch in English your communication will improve and most of the people who message me and who do not get selected for uh, a cabin crew or any other job are uh, not selected because of the communication so try to improve your communication by watching more videos in English if you're looking for improvement in Hindi you can certainly go for Hindi videos as well okay uh, another thing guys uh, if you're messaging me for anything on Instagram I suggest you guys uh, Give me some time, please give me two to three days to reply. Do not just message, message me saying that you know, saying that I do not reply. Because the people who've been following me for so long know that I, I literally reply to every message. Okay, even if they flood me with messages, I still reply. Anyways, uh, let's talk about money. So money is uh, one of the benefit, one of the good thing that you know you get when you become or work as a cabin crew okay there's already a video which i have posted and which i have mentioned about the benefits of a cabin crew however money is also one of the factor no matter how many benefits you get you will be okay with the benefits you will you anyone would be okay with not getting the benefits if uh they're getting enough money right you paisa paisa bol that you know people say that paisa paisa so anyways guys uh, let me tell you that i cannot really tell you directly my salary however i can tell you how much a cabin crew makes approximately so that you can get an idea i cannot tell you exactly what it is because i do not know exactly how much which cabin crew which friend what is earning however i can tell you uh how they earn and how on what, what factors the salary depends okay so uh uh, for the international part, I'll break it in the rest of the video, the second part, okay, but for here, let me tell you, for India especially, uh, first of all, the salary for cabin crew will depend on certain different factors like your uh, experience of working as a cabin crew, second thing would be uh, the title that you are working as, if you're a junior cabin crew or a junior as in just the normal cabin crew or the senior of the cabin crew or uh, it depends, uh, the last thing would be uh, which... Uh, airline that you're working for and mostly the airline factor is not considered because almost the same you know maybe it's gonna be a slight difference that's it okay and also when you fly what you get is your basic salary and the rest whatever you get is extra perks and allowances okay that's what okay so let me start by saying that you know if you're working for uh, an airline in India the minimum that you could be taking every month is at least like around 35 to 40 thousand every month okay minimum you're not going to be taking anything lesser than that unless you have taken uh, any leaves in that month and you were absent from work duties or for any reason your salary was, de uh, was deducted Okay, so you're gonna be on like a good amount uh, so uh, this is again the approximate figure I'm not uh, uh, pointing out to myself my any 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 cabin crews salary or any airline salary but this is what my understanding is if as for as far as I know by speaking to other people and as far as I know from other airlines from my friends and from myself minimum that you could be taking is around 40,000 okay this is just you know your basic salary that you get that you will be getting every month right apart from that a cabin crew can also earn extra allowances like you know your uh, extra flying allowances so uh, a cabin crew is allowed to fly for a certain number of hours every month you cannot exceed that because obviously you know you're there to take care of safety of other passengers if you are just dead if you fly so much and you're so much tired they cannot they cannot make you do that so there's a certain number of hours which is given okay however if you fly more than uh, whatever is the basic hours that are needed if you fly more than that you get extra money for that it's called extra flying allowances you get layover allowances as well this is something that i have already discussed in my previous video which says benefits of a cabin crew then another thing is that you know uh, if you uh, are rewarded for your performance in your company for, uh, in your company uh, in, in your airline for anything you know good work or anything you may be rewarded with any kind of gifts or you know maybe a monetary benefit maybe something a bonus or something in your salary it can be anything I, I don't know about all the airlines right 
So that's going to be an added benefit as well. You know, this perks, layover allowance, and uh, I just told you the extra flying that you get. Okay, so just imagine, guys, if you're earning a minimum amount of whatever I told you, guys. Plus, on top of that, if you're getting all these allowances, you could be earning like a good amount of around like you know 50, 60 thousand every month. Okay, if including that, you know, you get all these extra benefits as well, and if you if you're doing like really well in terms of your how much you're flying and everything okay this is just for like a basic online crew however if i go for a senior cabin group they can be earning more than that i cannot tell about them directly but because why because i want you all to join as an online cabin crew first then get promoted and i'm sure then you will come to know what a senior cabin crew earns okay they might they, they earn like really more than that so uh, this is a basic understanding that I wanted to give you all for uh, what a cabin crew earns. Okay, again, I could not really tell you the exact for every airline because people message me, you know, what is salary in this airline, their airline. I cannot tell you exactly that, but at least I told you this that you know, with a salary that you get for a cabin crew, you can at least buy a smartphone for yourself and still uh, survive, eat, drink, and save some of the money for yourself. Okay, at least this is the kind of understanding. So I hope guys, uh, this video uh, helped you and uh, helped you to clear your doubts in terms of uh, what the salary uh, a cabin crew gets. I have uh, covered all the points in it. There's just nothing really left. I informed you about the dedu deductions as well. Tax and all, uh, I've, I've covered up that. Even after deductions and everything, this is something that you can get 35 to 40. I mentioned that. Uh, that's all guys and uh, thank you so much for supporting me on Instagram and uh, on YouTube. I really love you all guys from the bottom of my heart and I'd like to spread my love for you and uh, love you all guys. I'll see you all very soon. Please comment down below what are the different types of videos you, uh, you'd want to see. I know I was supposed to make a skincare video but I'll be making that uh, around next week because you all know how my Instagram was really gone for a toss. Uh, but I'll be speaking to you guys again. Please, please, before you shut this down, subscribe and follow the bell icon if you want to stay updated. Also, follow me on Instagram. You can talk to me directly as well, guys. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.